Hi, I'm Thomas Burr in Washington, and this is a special video edition of the Salt Lake Tribune's DC Notebook. Today we're going to take you on a tour of the United States Capitol with Representative Rob Bishop, who as many of you know, is a former high school history teacher who has an affinity for all things historic. This is called the East Front, which was always supposed to be the front. The center part was the original Capitol, and it's made out of sandstone. So it's a, it's a lighter color, and you notice that all the columns are flat. They didn't want it to look like they were just making the Capitol bigger. They wanted it to be different. So it's made out of limestone. When they decided to add the new additions on and have the new house chamber, uh, this turned into Statuary Hall. The idea was every state would get to put two statues in here. Problem was, when they started putting all the statues in here, they found two major problems. Number one, that many statues made it look like a piece of crap. And number two, the weight of the statues was about to destroy the floor. So what they have done now is they have dispersed the statues all the way through the Capitol. We now have 100 statues in here. They're all over the place here and in the new civic uh, Capital Visitor, Center. Capital Visitor Center, CVC, whatever it is. This was actually not finished, in fact it wasn't even built, when the British burned it down the War of 1812. So it's just the two wings and kind of a, a blank space here. So it didn't really do all that much damage to the Capitol yeah. when they burned it. When they did it, this, this rotunda became a question mark. No one really knew what to do with it. So in the 1820s, this was kind of like a flea market. During the Civil War, this was um, a hospital bed, hospital ward area. Uh, people who still are lie in state will always be right there in the center. Um, and I think Lincoln was probably the first one. The catafalque that they used for him, made quickly out of pine, is still here in the Capitol. Everyone who lies in state from now on will always be on that catafalque. The, the pictures to me, you, don't let anyone talk to you about separation of church and state again. Those four pictures are all dealing with the, with the revolution. So it's the signing of the declaration, the victory at Saratoga, the victory at Yorktown, and Washington giving up his um, commission. These though, is all church and state. So it's the soda coming down there, they're, ha they're planting a, a, a cross in the corner and they're gonna have a prayer service. Columbus is coming, got crosses in the back, they're gonna have a prayer service. The pilgrims are landing, the book is open to Matthew 1. They're already having a prayer They're service. They're having a prayer service. And Congress specifically commissioned this one and they wanted a religious theme. So it's the baptism of Pocahontas with Ron, John Rawls standing behind her. It was a year catechism. She took on the new name. So much for churches. In fact, when, when Jefferson wrote that letter about the wall of separation, which was on a Saturday, he came up into the house chamber on Sunday because that doubled as a church for church services in the Capitol building. In the Statuary Hall. Statuary Hall, yeah. It's, of course, up there is where they have the lights. When Congress is in session, you know it because the flags over each body is, is flying, and the, which goes back again to the 1800 idea that they won't tell you, but it was insisted by the spouses. So if the husband said, I'm working late, they'd actually know whether they really were working late or they were at some pub somewhere enjoying themselves. So. <laughs> 